Hello everyone and welcome to the subject searching demonstration video. In this video, I will show you how to use a keyword search to identify subjects from a relevant source and then how to use those subjects to then subject search. For my example scenario, I am researching the occurrence of corruption in political parties. I also noticed that fraud was a related term for corruption and I want to include that in my search phrase as well. Any articles I use have to be full text, scholarly journal articles published in the past five years in English. My first step here is to list my keywords. These are the important ideas in my scenario that I have to have in my sources for them to be relevant to me. I have three keywords, corruption, political parties, and fraud. All of these are important ideas that I need to have in my sources so that I know they're relevant. Words like occurrence don't make very good keywords. There's lots of different ways to express those ideas and they're more used for context. That's why I didn't include that as one of my keywords. I then need to construct a search phrase using my keywords and any tools needed to make an effective search. My search phrase actually uses several different tools for different reasons. For political parties, since it's two words, I put it in phrase searching. This will allow me to find it as one idea instead of two separate words. Because corruption and fraud are similar, and having either one in my result would make it relevant, I connected them with OR. Because I used OR, I know that I need to make that part of the search phrase searched first, which is why I then put it in nesting, meaning I put the parentheses around it. I used AND to connect political parties and corruption or fraud because I only want results that mention both ideas. Now that I have my search phrase, I'm ready to go actually look for my sources. You will search either Academic Search Complete or Research Library ProQuest. I am going to model two searches, one in each database, but you only have to do one search. In Academic Search Complete, I've just put in my search phrase and I'm going to add my limiters. I have 99 total results from my search. Where it says 1 through 30, that only indicates that the first 30 results are shown on the first page. To get the total number of results, you need to look at that third number, which for me is 99. Now I'm going to do the same search in Research Library ProQuest. Again, making sure that all the limiters that are mentioned in the scenario are added before I do my search. Here, where it says 1 through 20, that's again only telling you that the first 20 results are on the first page. The total number of results is given towards the left. I have 175 results in this database. So I've recorded my total number of results from these searches. And now I'm going to choose one article that looks relevant to my information need and cite it in MLA format. I'm going to use this one, measuring the enforcement capacity of political financing supervisory bodies, because the title and the subject terms seem to have a lot of my keywords present. Then I will take the citation, which is available in the tools menu on the right.
in Research Library ProQuest, I am going to use the third result, which is China's anti-greft campaign and international anti-corruption norms. The citation tool is again given on the right, but it's more towards the top. We're going to use these articles and their subjects to help us see if we could redo our search in a way that makes use of the subject terms. Because the subject terms differ in each database, you often have to start with a keyword search like this before you can kind of pick a direction to go. For my Academic Search Complete article, I have only three subject terms, political parties, political systems, and political corruption. So I'm going to copy and paste those and then highlight the ones that are similar or identical. Be careful here. Author supplied keywords, which are listed beneath the subject terms, are not subjects. They aren't controlled vocabulary the way subjects are. So make sure that the ones you choose are coming from the subject terms field. Of these three subjects, political parties is identical to one of my keywords, so I'll highlight it. And then political corruption is a more specific kind of corruption that's relevant to me since I'm looking at politics. So I'll highlight that one as well. For my Research Library ProQuest article, I actually have a lot more subjects, so I'm not going to list all of them. Notice that both on the record and when I copy and paste, my keywords are already pre-highlighted. So corruption and political parties are both identical to the keywords I started with. But there's also this term, corruption in government. That one also sounds interesting to me, kind of like political corruption. It's talking about corruption in a particular place that's related to my need. So I'm going to highlight that one as well. Now this is where it gets a little complicated. We are going to now replace one or more of our keywords with the highlighted subjects. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this depending on which subjects you choose. So I'm going to show you two different examples. In Academic Search Complete, I am going to use political parties because that was the keyword I started with and it's identical to one of the subjects. So I need to separate out my two parts of the search phrase, put the corruption or fraud in the second box. In the top box where I have political parties, I'm going to go to where it says select a field on the right and from the drop down menu select subject terms. This means that in the new search, political parties is only going to be searched in the subject term field, not anywhere else. But corruption and fraud will still be searched in all the fields. And I'm not changing any of my limiters. All the limiters should be the same as when we did the first search. My new number of results is 74. So my total number decreased, meaning they went down. For Research Library ProQuest, I'm going to use one that's similar to my keyword, but not identical. So I'm going to use corruption in government instead of corruption or fraud. In this database, you need to use the Modify Search link to go back. And I still need to separate my two different sections of the search phrase. This time we're going to leave political parties as a keyword, but change corruption in government to a subject. So on the right hand side from the drop down box, I'm going to pick all subjects in indexing. 
because we use the modify search button, all of your limiters should remain the same. If you go back or just click on advanced search, you may have to re-enter your limiters. For this revised search, I have only 10 results. So my number definitely decreased. For step seven, you're gonna reflect on the observations that you've made in your search. Based on what you've seen, could you narrow your results further from your second search? How might you do so? And why might you do so? In my case, I have two very different situations here. In Research Library ProQuest, I only have 10 results. These make me able to look at all of them and find out whether they fit what I need or not. If these 10 aren't relevant to me, then I probably would not narrow it any further. I might have to broaden it back out again. But with 74 searches on Academic Search Complete, I might be able to narrow this a little bit more. So your answer will depend on what you find. I hope you find this video helpful as you complete today's assignment.